Good morning, folks. My wife and I watched the pre-sunrise sky after the news, and we thought we'd share yesterday's with you. Very beautiful mornings in Ohio right now. This is a time lapse of Io. Jupiter's volcanic orbiter apparently does not maintain activity where scientists expected. Essentially, they expected one heat distribution and found the opposite. After a two-month maintenance shutdown, an unidentified issue caused another shutdown at the Cori Station. Wind gusts took out a barn in Oregon last night. A bit south there is a mass sea lion die-off. 5.4 is slightly above average for this part of Mexico. Speaking of quaking, the Canary Islands have finally died back down. Over a day since the last four-pointer, only a handful of tremors yesterday and not much at all today. Same high pressure system driving Antarctic breeze to New Zealand and stealing some of that North Australian moisture to bring through the center of the country. Europe is largely feeling the aftermath of that storm that spanned the Atlantic. Warnings across the continent, but few as rough as Spain right now. High pressure in Texas, spinning outward and counterclockwise as they do in the northern hemisphere. Low pressure out west, driving counterclockwise but over a larger area so we just see the sweep up to Canada, but you likely see it meets resistance. We got lows in the east also driving counterclockwise so its left side pulls south from Canada and the convergence of the two will see that roughest precipitation in the middle. The low continues to crest the coast from BC to Baja and South Florida might take some leftover severe weather from this cell here. Sunspots look ready but still no major flaring. Down south was fierce on the backside but quiet facing earth. Up north we have good complexity but no will to pop. The largest signature on this chart actually came from behind the northeastern limb. This is starting to get aggravating. Come on guys, if you're going to hide the charts, hide them. Not only are they still taking the readings and not giving them to us, but they seem to be getting bigger. Possibly the scariest solar wind numbers I've seen, and that's incredible because we're on the low side. Folks, this is prima facie evidence of solar magnetic shutdown such weak buffeting that it is negatively affecting Earth's magnetic field. This resonance has endured since the solar wind began dropping like a rock. Now let's switch to some good news. I thought the quake uptick would begin yesterday based on how wide open the coronal opening was, but as I've said about a dozen times, it's the umbral field that does the timing for me now, and she decided to shut up shop just hours after yesterday's news. It remains firmly closed and the quakes will have to wait. The umbral field doesn't stop coronal hole solar wind streams though. We expect one to impact between now and Sunday, which is when the planetary alignments you can't see begin to unfold. Mars and Venus conjoining near the Sun while the Moon swings in past Mercury, Uranus to conjoin the Sun, Mars and Venus in about a 12 hour period on April 10th and 11th. I'll leave you with the Sun. No major Earth directed CMEs, just enjoy the visuals. Eyes open. No fear at 6.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.